If you recently purchased a Raspberry Pi and wondering how to set up your Pi, then this video will help you get started. If you bought your Raspberry Pi as a kit, then you probably got everything to get your project up and running. If you only have the Pi board, you will additionally need a micro SD card of at least 8GB size with an SD adapter, a 5 volts DC power source, a wired or wireless keyboard and mouse, a monitor or television, and an HDMI cable to connect your Pi to a monitor or television. Specification of accessories may vary by the Pi you bought. I have added details of compatible accessories for all Raspberry Pi models down in the description below. Now that you have all the components, you can start the setup by installing an operating system on the SD card. Raspberry Pi supports several operating systems but, the Raspberry Pi OS is the recommended operating system for most use cases. Using the Raspberry Pi Imager is the easiest way to install Raspberry Pi OS on your SD card. To install the Raspberry Pi operating system using Raspberry Pi Imager, you need another computer with an SD card reader. On your computer first, launch the web browser and go to www.raspberrypi.com slash software. Raspberry Pi Imager is available for Windows, Mac OS and Ubuntu. Click on the download link for the Raspberry Pi Imager that matches your operating system. Once the download finishes, double-click the downloaded file to launch the installer. On the Welcome to Raspberry Pi Imager Setup page, click Install to start the installation. Once the installation finishes, click Finish to close the setup and launch the Raspberry Pi Imager. You will need to be connected to the Internet the first time for the Raspberry Pi Imager to download the OS that you choose. Now, insert your SD card into the computer or laptop SD card slot. In the Raspberry Pi Imager, first, select Raspberry Pi OS 32-bit from the list of OS. Next, select the SD card you would like to install the operating system. Now click the right button to begin writing data to the SD card. On clicking the right button, a warning message will be shown that, all the existing data on the SD card will be deleted. Click Yes to continue and wait for the Raspberry Pi Imager to finish writing. Once the process finishes, a pop-up window will open and display a message write successful. Your SD card is now ready and, you can remove the SD card from the reader. Now you are ready to connect up your Raspberry Pi and get it running. Before that, let's have a look at the components of the Raspberry Pi. On the latest Raspberry Pi 4, you will find an SD card slot to insert the SD card loaded with operating system, a micro USB power connector to connect the power supply, two HDMI ports to connect the monitor or TV that you are using to display the output from the Raspberry Pi, a camera module port to connect the camera module, an audio jack to connect headphones or speakers, two USB ports to connect the components like mouse, keyboard, USB drive, etc., an Ethernet port to connect Raspberry Pi to a network with a cable, and finally GPIO ports to connect electronic components such as LEDs and buttons to Raspberry Pi. You can now begin connecting up the Raspberry Pi by inserting the SD card you have set up with Raspberry Pi OS into the micro SD card slot on the underside of your Raspberry Pi. Next, connect the USB connector end of your keyboard's cable to a USB port on your Raspberry Pi. In the same way, connect the mouse. Now connect your Pi to the monitor or TV using the HDMI cable. If you are connecting to Raspberry Pi 4, connect your screen to the HDMI port labeled HDMI 0. You can connect an optional second screen in the same way. Next are the Ethernet cable and audio cable. These two are optional as you can use Wi-Fi to connect your Pi to the Internet and use monitor speakers for sound. So I am skipping Ethernet cable and audio cable. Next, 
Connect the power supply to your Raspberry Pi's USB power port and plug the power supply into a socket. Now your Raspberry Pi is ready. First, make sure that your monitor is connected to the power supply, then switch on the Raspberry Pi's power supply. Now you will see a red light on your Raspberry Pi end, your Raspberry Pi will boot up into a graphical desktop. When you start your Raspberry Pi for the first time, the Welcome to Raspberry Pi application will pop up and guide you through the initial setup. Click Next to start the setup. Enter a new password for your Raspberry Pi and click Next. On the Select Wi-Fi Network page, you can connect to your Wi-Fi network by selecting its name, entering the password, and clicking Next. If you don't want to connect to the Wi-Fi network, then you can click Skip. On the Setup Complete page, click Done to exit the pop-up window. Your Raspberry Pi is now ready and you can use it to create documents, browse the web, coding, etc.